assalamu alaikum and greetings some of the common reaction that we going to encounter is the oxidation and also the reduction reactions in organic chemistry too this reaction can be found in alcohol carbonic group and also carboxylic acid so by now we already discussed these two reaction in previous chapter i would like to emphasize again on the relation between the alcohol the carbonic group and also the carboxylic acid we are this oxidation reaction so in general for this reaction to occur you need to understand that we can classify compound into alcohol the carbonic group and also the carboxylic acid it started from the alcohol where we have primary secondary and also tertiary alcohol for primary alcohol it can be oxidized into an aldehyde while for secondary it will be oxidized into ketone however for tertiary there will be no reaction that going to happen about aldehyde it can also further oxidize into carboxylic acid however for ketone there will be no further conversion so basically guys this is the concept that you need to understand for the oxidation reaction for the reduction why you need to understand that it is the reverse of the oxidation reaction therefore it start from carboxylic acid it will become aldehyde and aldehyde will become a primary alcohol depending on the type of oxidizing or reducing agent that we are using for ketone there is no carboxylic acid derived from it so we're going to start from ketone it's also a reverse process then it will become a secondary alcohol but for tertiary it will remain the same as the alcohol because there is no conversion for oxidation therefore there is no reverse process for reduction the next thing that you should know about the oxidation and reduction is about the agent that is being used to perform this reaction So the idea was for oxidation we need to have an oxidizing agent. And then for reduction we also need to have a reducing agent. In both situation they can be a strong oxidizing agent and also a weak oxidizing agent. Same goes for the reducing agent we can also have a strong reducing agent and also a weak reducing agent so in general the oxidizing agent that you should know is for oxidizing the strong one will be potassium permanganate in acidified medium other option we can also have potassium or sodium dichromate in acidified medium to produce chromic acid For the weak one, we have PCC as an example, and sometimes we can also use ozone catalyzed by zinc. For the reducing agent, the strong one is lithium aluminium hydride, and for the weak one, we have sodium borohydride. In previous discussion, I also have introduced you guys to. A reducing agent called lead bar. For your information, lead bar is less stronger compared to lithium aluminium hydride. Lead bar stands for lithium tritabutoxy aluminium hydride. This is being used to convert an acid chloride into aldehyde in our previous video. Whereas if you are using lithium aluminium hydride for this reaction the aldehyde will further reduce in becoming a primary alcohol Here's one of the questions which discuss the relationship between alcohol carbonic group and also carboxylic acid we are the oxidation and also the reduction reaction 
So we we'll start off with compound K and compound L are isomers of aliphatic alcohols with the molecular formula of C3H8O. Compound L gives positive result towards the iodine test. Upon reaction with potassium permanganate KMnO4, okay, we already know that potassium permanganate is an example of strong oxidizing agent. Both compound K and compound L produces carboxylic acid, which is compound M, and the carbonyl group is compound M. So the first thing that you need to do is we're going to convert all the sentences into the chemical equation. So basically, we start off with compound K and also compound L. So both of them is isomers, which means that they're going to have the same molecular formula. which in this case is C3, H8 and also oxygen. So there is only two possibilities for this compound. Since both of compound is alcohol, therefore it should contain OH bonding. And then the structure must be different. Basically, there are two possibilities for formula of C3 H8O. It can be propanol or it can be propan to all. One is compound K, the other one it will be compound L. There are no other structure that can be drawn from the formula of C3, H8O. Let's refer again to the question as you can see here. Upon reaction with potassium permanganate, which is a strong oxidizing agent, compound K will produce a carboxylic acid, while compound L will produce a carbonyl group. So, so let's fit this into our discussion. L will become carbonyl group, while K will become a carboxylic acid compound. Therefore, if we look at the possibilities, one of the isomers will be primary, the other one will be a secondary. When we apply a strong oxidizing agent which is potassium permanganate in acidified medium, we should predict that the primary alcohol will be converted into aldehyde and then will be transformed into carboxylic acid, whereby for secondary alcohol will become only a ketone product. So from this theory, we can assume that the compound K was a primary alcohol while L is a secondary alcohol because in K it can be further oxidized into carboxylic acid while for L it is going to become a ketone only although we are using a strong oxidizing agent. So if you want to draw the structure, it will be looking like this. Compound K, apply potassium permanganate in acidified medium. So the formation of carboxylic acid will occur at the first carbon because this is where the functional groups uh, is attached to. For the primary alcohol, we produce first an aldehyde at the first carbon and then it attached to H. Since we are using a strong oxidizing agent, the H will later on becoming a carboxylic acid and we add oxygen to it. So this is what happened to compound K which transformed into compound M. In other situation, we have compound L, which is a secondary alcohol. So for secondary alcohol, we know that it's going to transform into a ketone. So what's going to have to happen in this equation is carbon number 2 will form a double bond O. Just notice, this is also the same position for the hydroxyl group, which is the functional group. Therefore, we just draw back the 3 carbon and then the double bond should occur at the 
Sẽ khơn cao bớt In this question we can see the usage of Lithium aluminum hydride Which is a strong Reducing agent So the product is a Secondary alcohol Therefore from our previous discussion We already knew that Secondary alcohol Will result into becoming a ketone And then there will be no further conversion into carboxyl acid. So in reverse, the ketone will yield back the secondary alcohol. So in this case, initially we have alcohol which is being reduced to it since we are using lithium aluminum hydride. The compound given is a secondary alcohol. It is only possible for the reactant to be a ketone. Ketone is represented by the presence of C double bond O, which attached to the carbon both side. In this example, we have a five carbon chain alcohol. Therefore, for the product should also have a five chain carbon structure with a C double bond located at carbon number 3 because the OH located at carbon number 3. Also remember that in order to convert secondary into a ketone, we need to use an oxidizing agent. It can be either a weak oxidizing agent or it can also be a strong oxidizing agent. That's it for the video today. So what you need to know is, you need to remember the relationship between the alcohol, the carbonic group and also the carboxylic acid. Primary will become an aldehyde and the aldehyde will be oxidized into carboxylic acid. Secondary will become a ketone when oxidized, while tertiary there will be no reaction at all. So the relationship from left to right will be considered as oxidation. And from right to the left, it will be considered as reduction. For oxidation, it requires oxidizing agent. While for reduction, it requires reducing agent. Both of them will have a strong and also weak oxidizing agent and of course, the result will also differ. If you have any question, as usual, please leave your comment below. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.